Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. VYC men with thanks to our good friends at Molten. 13 rounds down, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve-O. It's a 17 Hello. round season. Correct. So we're just about there. We are. What have we got, four weeks left? Business good end. math. Are you guys still a chance? You're or? pretty clever. Are you guys still a chance? No. Nah. I saw you had a big win on the weekend. Yeah, we did, but we what let time? ourselves What time down. did you get home Sunday? Uh, Monday. Sorry, Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was nicer to have happy Coronas other than angry Coronas. Nice, I like it. So, uh, Sandringham 97 defeated Sherbrooke 54, so they were pretty angry they were Saturday angry night. Then. Uh, yeah. Josh Dow had 17, Matty Burke had 21. Sandringham have been pretty ordinary lately, and uh, they came up against a, an even more ordinary team on Saturday night. So, mate, they smashed you. Yeah, we um, unfortunately had another ankle um, early in the game um, to our... Starting three and um, how's the beast going? The beast. Yeah. Uh, Coley actually had a few. He I'm actually sure he had uh, well. had about 15, 18 minutes or something, sure and, and did well. pretty well. So yeah. um, he was all right. But he's no, been shopping himself lately. So. Yeah, he's been putting the word out there. <laughs> um, so he's um, we know that. But no, they just scored more points than us. Yeah, about 43 of them, actually. Mm. Melbourne 78. It's only 10 a quarter, Yeah, roughly. okay, yeah, that's good. Melbourne 78 <laughs> defeated Diamond Valley 85. Dylan Dunstan had 19 for DV. Peniardo had 17 and 9 and 5 assists for Melbourne. That's a very good win, DV. Yeah, completely out of the ordinary. Too. Didn't I see think it coming. Everyone thought Melbourne was going to win, but uh, from what I've heard, Diamond Valley They're can just about, uh, get under teams and just surprise They're them. They're 12 and 5. They're up and them out. And I think Melbourne might, with the you know a few few of the main players going up and down as well, they can be getting a bit tired this time of year, so they're not really doing it. I mean, now that um, Anthony Karabatsis, he got signed the other week as well, yep. so um, mm -hmm. to take off, so he's probably clocked off. Um, joking, Anthony, you haven't clocked <laughs> off, mate. But um, uh, yeah, I, I just think they're probably getting a little bit tired for some of their main guys with all that chopping and change. And that some of the time you look at it, they're playing two a week. Mm. Uh, up to equal fourth on the table now. Yeah. Eltham, 72, defeated Ringwood, 61. Uh, Yamuni had 24. Salty had 12. They're coming, the Wildcats. Yeah, and they knew they had to win this as well. They knew they had to have a big weekend um, to get them into that fourth spot with yep. three some, others. They've got some um, conference behind them at the moment. Um, and they... Um, uh, they pushed 23 to 10 in the last quarter here um, to get the win. So, um, massive game. 67 foul shots taken in that game. Is that all? Yeah, not quite enough, I don't yeah, think. No, I'm glad um, they got to their game. But that is a, that, that's a great win, Elton. Uh, Knox 92 defeated McKinnon 72. Uh, Cody had 18 for McKinnon. Benny Waterhouse 24 points, uh, six dimes as well for Knox. 20 point win. And you'd think, you'd think from that they were just going to cruise through the weekend. Yeah, obviously Knox building in some confidence. Ben Waterhouse has been a big uh, return, and you'd think that they've got a, a double on Sunday would uh, against oh, a smash mid-table opponent. They're just mid-table. Mid well, I'm, well, I'm happy with mid. I was being <laughs> being complimentary. Jeez, up or lower, I would have said. I, I, look, I think <laughs> Knox is only issue towards the end. I mean, I've talked him up a couple of weeks ago, and then um, their coach uh, questioned me. In a nice way the other day about dobbing him in for a couple of texts a week before and getting ousted. <laughs> um, but um, this week it was Ben that got a couple of texts, so um, different team altogether. But um, they just don't have the depth. They had four points off the bench. I know they beat McKinnon by 20, but as they should, they had four points off the bench in that game. And I think when it comes to the end of the season, you can't have that. No, got to have some depth, That's absolutely, right. in this competition. Waverley 52 went down to Nunna Wadding 81. Uh, Daniel Baxter, 21 for the Spectres. Uh, Andrew Kennelly had 16 for Waverley. Run of the mill. Think, yeah. Anything to see there, Steve? I think Remo Samankovicius yeah. got injured. Yeah. Oh, oh bad. Only played, I don't know. I only played about five minutes. Three and a bit. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard Eat anything coming out of it. No, I, I haven't heard enough yet. And um, So if anyone wants to message her on Snapchat and tell me what's actually happened secretly. On what's, what, what's Snapchat. It it's a new uh, technology, mate. It's on your, it's on your mobile telephone. The one you walk around with. Hey, can you do that these mm -hmm. days? No cord. 
Jeez. No. But um, yeah, look, I think pretty um, run of the mill. Drives um, me up the wall. I'm twisting that thing every second night too, yeah. by the way. Nana Wadding put up 29 three pointers in that game. Did they? How many did they hit? Because it's a pet hate of yours. 11. Oh, 11. Right. So okay. that's all right. That's okay. But Waverley for the first time, I know they, they, they got done, but for the first time, obviously, normally they're a shooting team. And that's where they've had their problems because all they do is want to shoot from outside, mm. um, apart from Dan. Um, they only put up six this time because they obviously just couldn't get inside, but then mm. they couldn't make shots. So Called it a day. I just, yeah, wrapped it up. Uh, Danny Nong, 87, defeated Bulleen, 61. Great win, Danny Nong. Two very, very good teams. Gabe Hadley, 40.7 rebounds. Just, just did what had to be done. Uh, Harry Fail was a bit of a success. Had 15 points and nine rebounds for Bulleen, but... All about uh, Hatters. Very yeah, good. And Bulleen led at the quarter time break, so I would suggest that... Um, well, Danny Nong didn't come out on court till the start of the second. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when I'd say Jay got Gabe the boys... Didn't, <laughs> Gabe didn't come that's out. Right. Gabe didn't either. One second. Gabe didn't that's about five time. mentions for Gabe, is it? Who? Hadley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Gabe and, Hadley. He had 40. And, and they Jay, still, the coach. Have they still got that um, fine system? And Jay, the coach, yeah. Oh, okay. So oh. um, I think that's they come out and had a 20 to 5 second quarter and um, just ran away with it. And that's that's... Pretty profound over bullying because bullying are no mugs. Oh, this is what I'm saying. That's the, the this is where the difference is at the moment. I think between Danny on that when Gabe plays for Danny on, I think they Gabe are Gabe Hadley. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, when he plays there with Riley Wood and the rest of the guys, um, I think they're just so they're, they're just so much further ahead than than even the ladder leaders on the other side. So is Gabe Hadley uh, maybe just playing enough games to qualify for finals? Oh, maybe. Uh, Blackburn 76 defeated Hawthorne 51 Nick Patel had uh, just the 9 points for Hawthorne He was the top scorer there Sammy Cass had 23 for Blackburn Where the hell? Uh, thumbs down It's still injured Yeah, thumbs down Has a uh, thumb injury So he's going to be out for Season? Uh, I wouldn't say season I wouldn't write him off for he'll the season back. But he'll be, he'll be he'll back, be back. Yeah not a bad player. Where and, the hell to bring him back? And Gandalf's not playing either. Gandolfini, the um, Gandalf. little bloke. Who? Um, little shooter for Hawthorne, the one who um, made it difficult for us. Um, he wasn't there either on that game. So I don't know whether they're having to go up because Jake... Uh, yeah, for, for some of... For Hawthorne, I'm saying here, rather than yes. Blackburn. Um, so it looks like Hawthorne are actually losing more players. Right. Did so, you understand any of that? Who did he say? I think I might have said Blackburn to start off with. I just agree with him, so I was clueless. Um, Sunday, something with Gandalf. Oh, right. I was looking for the ring. Sherbrooke, 65, defeated Knox, 57. Chris Douglas, 11 points for Knox. Joshy Dow, 31 and 10 for Sherbrooke. Now, look, in all seriousness, how the the bloody hell did you do that? I would have thought, if you, you got down by 43 the night before, Knox has got up over McKinnon by 20. Uh, who needs to be swabbed here? I mean, seriously, what's going on? Um, oh, this has been my frustration all year. I've said it all year. We Our stats rack up against the best going around. Does this around. say more about you or about Knox, in all honesty? Oh, no. we. This was this was our game. This is a game we know just we played. Just switched on. Just bang. Yeah, you should it. have seen it. It was just a totally different team the, from a warm-up. The night before, I had to pull the boys in during warm-up and say, come on, guys, this is just so flat. Mm. Um, when we turned up for this game, um, the guys were just all up and about. You know, we got there a bit early, being a bit tired. So, um, how were Knox after the game? Oh, yeah, not too happy. I wouldn't think. Oh, their season's on the line, mate. Yeah, that's right. And um, look, they've still got a good run at it. But um, yeah, that was um, look for us. It got close towards the end there, and then you know we managed to um, just sort of jag it away a little bit. Well, when I heard this score, I was at the controls of the uh, the Piper Cherokee coming back from Mildura, mm-hmm. and let me tell you, we, we went from thirty thousand feet down to about three thousand in quick time. I could not believe it when I heard that score. No, that's certainly uh, quite surprising. I was I was out at games, BYC men games on Sunday, and um, there was a few a few people around the uh, court were saying, oh, look, Sherbrooke lost to Sandringham the night before, and uh, Knox won, so Knox, you know, Knox are a pretty good Smash team, they'll keep going, Smash blah, 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 they're talking up Knox, and, and I went home that, that day and saw the score and was like, oh, hang on, Knox, Knox got done to Sherbrooke. Mm. You know the worst part about that result? We knew we had to sit in here with him today. Yeah. So. Kilsai 69 went down to Eltham 82. Good win. Wildcats, Lipinski. Lippy had 32 and 9. Jordan Adam had 18 for Kilsai. And Kilsai have been good lately. Yeah. 
Eltham is up and about, my friend. Yeah, they're, um, this would have been, apart from, obviously, our game, this is um, game of the round. I mean, Adnam against Lipinski, you know, I think would have been nice to, to mm. see. Um, uh, one minute to go, so just a couple of things there. One minute to go, Kilsoth were actually up. Um, Adnam fouled Lipinski for the M1. Uh, and um, then Urquhart ended up with an unsportsmanlike trying to get the ball back and all this sort of thing. So it was tight right to the end. And... Um, then Adnam hit a clutch three with 20 seconds to go, and um, you know that's all that was there. Bang! So it was uh, that would have been a ripper game to watch. And, and look, Eltham, they are they're they're going to be right there, and I think they're now even Equal with fourth. three others. Equal fourth. Yeah. Equal with yep. Yeah. Um, it's um, yeah they they've got to hang on. They knew they had to win this weekend. Race. They had to get them, and they had to get them both, and they did. You look on the flip side though. Kilsyth take that loss. They're now yeah, they're out of the correct foot. out. Yep. Sandringham just run away a little bit. Yeah, Hawthorne seventy seven to Freddie Keelor sixty seven. Xavier Evans nineteen for the Magic. Nathan Freeman sixteen for Keelor. Um, nothing to see there other than saying uh, Hawthorne bounced back. They needed to and they did. Uh, and finally, Bulleen. Speaking of bouncing back. Bullion 82 defeated Blackburn 64. Probably the loss that Blackburn needed to have. Uh, Jake Roberts 21 for they Blackburn. Oh, I don't know. Joel, I'm just copying you. I was going to say. Joel uh, Rhymes 24 points, 8 rebounds. Oh, I was being facetious. Yeah, I know you were. Uh, Joel Rhymes 24 and 8. Uh, so good to see Frankie Rhymes having a good game. Bullion uh, lost the night before. Blackburn won the night before. They've come into Sunday. They've gone opposite directions. Very, very good bounce back game by the Boomers. Take. Take nothing out of that game. Nothing. Uh, well, Bulleen can't take the win out of that game? Well, you can take the points, oh, right, but okay. take nothing There's out no of it. There's no points, it's a win. Yeah, I was waiting for that too. Uh, no Jake Heath, as we mentioned. All right. No Jacob Epperson, who played the night before. Yeah. All right. No Seb Laminato. All right. Big three, not playing for Blackburn. All right. Blackburn uh, faced Bulleen around 17. Could be a completely different game. Okay. Well, let me just say this. Bulleen's one loss... Half a game mm-hmm. behind yeah. Blackburn. Mm-hmm. They play each other in round 17. Mm-hmm. If Bulleen win that game, mm-hmm. uh, or if something happens in the next few weeks, they already have, what's that? 17, head 18 to head. points yes. head to head? Mm-hmm. It might mean nothing, but that's a bloody important win for Bulleen. Oh, it certainly Because they could give him top in spot in all of the same. game, take nothing. Obviously, the result matters. Yeah. But um, Blackburn still can play some pretty damn decent ball yeah. without their star Three players. Stars. I yeah. know there's, I know there's, uh, I mean, they only played Hawthorne, sorry Hawthorne, not to mean only, but they only played Hawthorne the night before. Slap. Um, they needed some others here to step up and show that depth. I know there was three out, but I just hope they're not the team that when Heath is not playing, their structures have all fallen down. Hello. Certainly, structures didn't fall down because the first half was magnificent. I think they were up eight, nine points at half time. Okay. And they were hitting things, movement was good, yeah. everything was up and about. I think they scored 13 points in the second half. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bulleen went on a 19, 20 0 run between the third and fourth quarters, and that, they just capitulated. Well, let's give some credit to Bulleen there. Round yeah. 14, here we go. Oh, sorry, Ladders, Steve. Ladders, Take Terrell Conference, Dandy Nong, 14 and 2, Melbourne 12 and 5, Ringwood 9 and 8, then the Log Jam, Nutter Wadding. Nutterwadding, Knox and Eltham all 8 and 9. Then Sherbrooke 5 and 12. McKinnon 3 and 14. In the Watson Conference, Blackburn 14 and 3. Bulleen 14 and 4. Diamond Valley 12 and 5. Sandringham 9 and 9. Kilsyth 8 and 10. Hawthorne 5 and 11. Waverley 4 and 12. And Keelor 3 and 14. So it's a race uh, in both uh, conferences at the moment. McKinnon take on Eltham this week. Eltham for me. Yeah, put, put the shades down. Lippy will get them across the line. Hawthorne, Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, Keel or Waverley? Um, 4 and 12, Waverley, Keel yeah. or 3 and 14? Um, uh, I think. I'll say, I'll say Keel or. Yeah, I agree. I think Keel has shown much better signs last fortnight. Mm. Keel or at home. Ringwood, Nana Wadding. Ringwood, 9 oh, and 8. Nana yeah. Wadding, 8 and 9. I think Nana Wadding beat them earlier this season as well. Yeah, and yeah. I think, um, think Nana Wadding this time as well. I think Ringwood. But I'm gonna, either, either or. I'm going to go Ringwood at home. Bulleen and, especially if uh, Remo's out, Bulleen and Keelor. Yeah, Bulleen. Boomers, DV, Kilsyth. Don Valley. Get on the Eagles. Kilsyth. Just, just, really? Yeah. I like the uh, Eagles at the moment. Knox and Waverley. I think Knox will punish them. 
Uh, I After think, what happened last yeah, Sunday. Yeah, nice. will step up. Yeah. Uh, Sandringham take on Blackburn. Well, I don't think Sandringham will shoot 60% again like they did to us. So They play a good opponent this week. Um, <laughs> 60% <laughs> oh, they shot again it was ridiculous. The as coach apologised to an a, extent after the game. He said, "Man, we've never shot like that." As a That's coach, the second time. This as season. a coach, you just go and sit in the stands with yeah. the fans and you just applaud. Uh, um, I think Blackburn. I think Blackburn. Yeah, Blackburn. Uh, Sherbrooke take on Dandenong. Oh, well, Sherbrooke are chock full of confidence at the moment. Um, yeah, look, I think Dandenong win. Uh, There'll be a few contributors. I think. Sherbrooke, uh, like I said, they are full of confidence right now, and I reckon that'll get them within 40. Hmm. Well, I couldn't do that again. You honestly don't want me to comment. Who are you going for? With that crap. Who are you going for in this game? What do you mean? No, seriously, who's going to win? Well, we're going to do everything we can to win the game. But, and as, as long as we can get five, six <laughs> players to take the court... <laughs> Six, pre- we're not training. Training. We're not, six preferably at the same time. We're not training this week. We're going to go into bubble wrap. So we're um we're going to go and hang out in the ice in the in the ice. We're going to go and hang out in one of those salt rooms and do nothing. If there's any youth league players out there who aren't happy with their court time at the moment, ring in. You'll get a, you'll get a game this week. We'll see you next week on Big Feet TV.